Women in Sudan are mass killing themselves to avoid being raped by paramilitary fighters in the civil war. Here's what's going on. Sudan has been in a civil war since April 2023 due to a power struggle between two military forces. The country has been ruled by a military government since 2021 after the military overthrew the longtime dictator in a coup in 2019. The military coup was led by two generals, Abdel Fattah al-Burhan, the head of the Sudanese army and the current de facto ruler of Sudan, and Mohamed Hamdan Daglo, also known as Hameti. Hameti is the head of the Rapid Support Forces, or RSF, a powerful paramilitary or unofficial military group, which is funded by the UAE and had previously been al-Burhan's deputy. The two generals have since fallen out and began fighting over control of the country in April 2023. The civil war has since killed tens of thousands of people and both the RSF and the Sudanese army have been accused of committing war crimes and crimes against humanity. But now women civilians are even more impacted than before. On September 26, the army regained control over some parts of the capital Khartoum, which have been under the RSF's rule since April 2023. The army then announced on October 20th that a top RSF commander had surrendered. In response, RSF fighters went on a rampage as revenge in villages and towns in Jazeera state where the commander is from. Between October 20th and October 29th, RSF fighters indiscriminately shot at civilians, sexually assaulted women and girls, looted markets and homes, and burned down farms, according to the UN. In one village, the RSF killed at least 124 people and injured more than 200 others in one of the deadliest incidents since the civil war began. Witnesses on social media reported that the RSF killed men, women, children, and people with disabilities in Jazeera state, leaving bodies scattered in the streets. Several women then killed themselves to protect themselves from being raped, with some accounts reporting up to 130 women killing themselves. According to one woman on X, the women in her family agreed that if the RSF attacked them, they would go to the river and drown themselves by tying something heavy to them. Since the war erupted in Sudan, more than 24,800 people have been killed and 10 million Sudanese have been displaced. Women and girls are disproportionately affected, facing hellish conditions such as abductions, rape, gang rape, forced marriage, and other forms of gender-based violence. UN Women has called the impact on women and girls catastrophic. More than half of the Sudanese population, or approximately 26 million people, are also at risk of famine, according to the World Food Programme. Follow for more updates on the situation in Sudan.